Hello, and welcome to this webcast on EMVCO's work to support secure, convenient, and reliable online transactions. My name is Brian Byrne, and I'm the Director of Engagement and Operations at EMVCO. EMVCO is a technical body that collaborates with the global payments industry to develop technical specifications and programs that support the global use of secure technology for payment. These products and solutions enable a consistent and trusted payment experience for merchants and consumers worldwide. This is important because consumers expect a payment device to work anywhere in the world, whether it's for a face-to-face -face payment or making a remote payment online. The process must be familiar, convenient, and reliable for both the consumer or business making the payment and for the merchants accepting them. EMVCO plays a key part in making this possible. EMVCO first developed and continues to maintain and enhance the EMV chip specifications as a blueprint for chip cards and terminals to work the same way, no matter where they're used. Based on the globally adopted EMV chip specifications, chips are used in billions of credit and debit cards today to validate their authenticity and safeguard against counterfeit card fraud. This is what many people think of when they hear EMV, but it's only one piece of EMV Co's work today. EMV specifications today provide foundational requirements for developing products that support seamless and secure in-store, online and remote card-based payments. They are designed to support the adoption of advanced payment security technologies that fight fraud, promote flexibility and choice and support innovation and competition. By offering convenience and confidence, these specifications help deliver a consistent and trusted payments experience for merchants and their customers worldwide. The specifications are available to all royalty free. EMVCO has worked extensively with the wider payments community to develop and enhance specifications that support secure online commerce. This includes EMV 3D Secure, also known as EMV 3DS, EMV Secure Remote Commerce, or EMV SRC, and EMV Payment Tokenization. These are all designed to be flexible and can be adapted regionally to meet national payment requirements and accommodate local regulations. In this webcast, we'll be taking a closer look at how these three specifications support safe and convenient online payments. So let's start with a closer look at EMV 3DS. Fighting payment fraud and checkout friction is key to businesses delivering a safe and convenient e-commerce experience for their customers. EMV 3DS is a fraud prevention technology that enables consumers to authenticate themselves with their card issuer. It supports intelligent, data-driven and risk-based decisioning which helps card issuers to identify fraudulent transactions more quickly and accurately. This means merchants can prevent e-commerce fraud with minimal disruption to the purchase process. EMVCO maintains the EMV 3DS specifications, facilitates testing, and provides an approval process to support e-commerce transactions in a globally interoperable manner. Businesses around the world use technologies based on the EMV 3DS specifications to provide a safe and easy checkout experience for consumers. But what are the key benefits to different players in the payments chain? For merchants, the key benefits include greater security and less friction, improved transaction security, liability for fraudulent transactions is being shifted away from the merchant, it encourages fewer false declines, and it brings a reduced risk of checkout abandonment. For cardholders, EMV 3DS supports a better, safer checkout experience, quicker, easier authentication, fewer purchases inaccurately declined, and confidence in the safety of the transaction. And issuers see a host of benefits too, including enhanced authentication and fraud management, increased transaction approval rates, less e-commerce fraud, and greater consumer confidence that the transaction will not be falsely declined. 
The EMV 3DS specifications have evolved a lot over the years and they continue to do so. A few features to highlight from the latest version of EMV 3DS, which is version 2.3, are it further promotes frictionless authentication while still facilitating compliance with regulation, such as PSD2 in Europe. This includes device authentication and secure payment confirmation, or SPC. It supports new authentication channels, including enhancements to the user experience on gaming consoles and smart speakers. And it delivers a better user experience on apps and on web browsers to instill consumer trust in the authentication process and optimize the checkout experience during shopping. This includes, for example, enhanced information displays for occurring payments. Here's just a couple of examples where sectors work with EMV Co to define supplementary information that can be communicated to help reduce fraud. In the first example, you can see how the gaming sector adopts EMV 3DS to enable in-game purchases without interrupting the gaming experience. Meanwhile, the new split SDK or software development kit model, which is part of the latest EMV 3DS specification release, makes it easier for merchants to implement EMV 3DS across both traditional and non-traditional e-commerce payment channels and devices, such as smart speakers and other IoT devices. EMVCO continually collaborates with the payment community to look for opportunities to optimize efficiencies, improve usability, and promote consistency without compromising security. EMVCO has also developed, following a period of extensive public consultation, the EMV SRC specifications designed to address the complexity and unwanted friction that e-commerce merchants and consumers can face with online transactions. By promoting a simple, secure, and interoperable checkout experience for consumers, EMV SRC offers the potential to address common challenges within the remote commerce environment. The first challenge is the growth of cardinal present fraud. Why is that important? Well, the key entry, transmission, and subsequent storage of live primary account numbers or PANs can introduce risk into transactions. The harvesting of manually entered data or account takeover of established usernames and passwords are just two examples of the vulnerabilities that can lead to data breaches. Malware that exploits system vulnerabilities is also increasingly common. EMV SSE aims to mitigate the impact of such potential risks. Challenge two is the ecosystem complexity. The remote environment has evolved using proprietary solutions with multiple participants and use cases, increasing the complexity associated with technology integration. EMVCO's work in this area aims to offer a global and interoperable specification upon which SRC systems can be built to simplify merchant integration and enhance scalability and enable a consistent consumer experience. The third challenge is checkout friction. The current remote commerce ecosystem enables payments using a range of integration models and implementation practices. This can create inconsistency and complexity during the consumer's purchase. EMV SRC offers the potential to address these common challenges within the remote commerce environment. The specifications enable e-commerce transactions in a consistent, streamlined fashion across many remote checkout environments and consumer devices. This means merchants can streamline their processes for payment acceptance and deliver a familiar, quicker, and more convenient checkout experience for consumers. Critically, the specifications provide a consistent purchase experience for consumers, removing barriers to the purchasing process that can lead to abandonment. This provides the opportunity for all merchants, regardless of size, to offer trusted, safe, and convenient card-based payments to consumers shopping online. Invico also recognizes the benefits of a more consistent user experience, and so has created a payment icon that conveys to consumers that they can expect an easy, smart checkout whenever it appears, regardless of which payment card 
or remote checkout environment they use. And what is this icon? Well, it's called click to pay Any consumer facing solution and program based on the EMV SRC specifications can be known as click to pay This universal description enables ease of recognition for consumers and signals that a consumer can confidently transact through an easy e-checkout, regardless of the payment card, digital channel, or device that they use. The icon facilitates easy consumer recognition of websites, apps, and other remote checkout environments that use the EMV SRC specifications as a foundation to process card-based payment transactions. When a consumer clicks on the prompt associated with the icon, they can be confident that they are entering a consistent payment space, regardless of the payment method or the merchant, and can expect an easy, smart checkout. This supports EMBCO's aim to provide consumers with the same level of familiarity and confidence across remote transactions as they enjoy today in the physical world using EMV chip, contactless, or QR codes. A technology that supports both face-to-face -face and e-commerce transactions is EMV payment tokenization. But what exactly is it and what benefits does this bring to online commerce? EMV payment tokenization enhances face-to-face -face and remote payment transaction security by removing the most valuable data to a fraudster within a transaction, the primary account number or PAN, and replacing it with unique alternative value the EMV payment token. This offers some very significant benefits to the increasingly complex and diverse online payment space. Importantly, an EMV payment token is constrained in how it can be used. For example, to a specific merchant, device, or payment scenario. This reduces the value of payments information stolen in the event of a data compromise, as the EMV payment token should not be able to be used beyond the environment in which it was intended. EMV payment tokenization also offers card issuers, their cardholders and merchants, the ability to increase protection of payment data throughout a transaction. There are other benefits to EMV payment tokenization beyond security. It promotes user convenience as it can be used by the payments ecosystem across existing or new payments infrastructure and maintain compatibility with face-to-face -face remote card payment technology. As a foundational technology, it also encourages innovation and promotes competition and new ways to pay without compromising or increasing security requirements or adding cardholder friction. EMV payment tokens can also be implemented flexibly to meet global and regional requirements. Tokenization as a concept is fairly common worldwide, so what makes EMV payment tokens different? Well, within the payment ecosystem, a PAN can be tokenized at different points to improve security by removing the PAN and using a token instead. For example, within the merchant environment, tokenization is between the merchant and the acquirer. EMV payment tokenization enables a payment token to be used in a payment transaction from the point of purchase passing across the payment networks between acquirers and card issuers through to payment authorization by the card issuer. This is a key difference between EMV payment tokens and the other forms of tokenization. EMV payment tokens are compatible with and do not prevent the use of existing and other forms of tokenization, such as acquirer and or security tokens. EMV specifications, like EMVCO itself, do not work in isolation. And I'd like to end up now with a quick look at how the technologies and multiple organizations are working together to further enhance the payment experience. The EMV specifications we've discussed today can be used separately and also used together. The complementary nature of the specifications is something we are actively working on and educating on. In fact, we published a use case document that specifically details how EMV 3DS and EMV payment tokenization can be used together. For example, how the authentication process is impacted when EMV payment tokens are used. 
And it's not just about ensuring consistency in the use of EMV specifications. EMVCO also works closely with organizations, including FIDO Alliance and the World Wide Web Consortium, usually known as W3C, to promote industry-wide compatibility across different technologies. This resulted in the creation of the Web Payment Security Interest Group, which continues to work and enhance the security and interoperability of web payments. We hope this has been a useful introduction for you to the EMV specifications supporting the provision of secure and convenient online commerce. Further resources are available on our website. Please don't forget to follow us on social media and subscribe to our Insight series online. You can also subscribe to our podcast from your preferred podcast provider. Thank you for listening and we'll see you next time.